Live with little or no editing, it's Defense Up on Run 7. How you doing? Today, we are going over Royalty's defense. Uh, Royalty came and talked to us on voice. We had a nice discussion with several, several content creators in there going over these teams, and Royalty's got some weird stuff that uh, I haven't seen before, and we're going to switch it all up and try some weird stuff that he's never tried before. So uh, we're just going to jump right into this one. Uh, in room one, he's using the secret defenders with Echo. Echo shuts down that counter assist, of course. And he's got Dormammu in there, making them revive and making it that much more challenging to kill them off. There's things that can be done about this to, you know, clear those revives and, and kind of neuter Dorm. And it just becomes uh, uh, Dormammu's stun and charge mechanic and stuff like that that you deal with. Uh, what we decided to do with this one is we're going to get vicious with the defense and we're going to take this team out of here and we're going to put a full superior six or a mostly superior six on defense in here. Uh, I believe we have that team loaded into room six. So we're going to take this team from room six that he's got and we're going to move that into room one, keeping the sus for offense. We're just going to use superior six on defense in room one now when you move superior six to defense it does become a little bit more challenging however it becomes really challenging for your opponent and i'm finding running superior six on defense has been wonderful for me because when i have some real bad fails my opponent does as well and my defense has been saving me because of it and i enjoy the challenge of trying to work around that so don't be afraid to try out superior six on defense and see what you think royalty is going to try it out here so that royalty can move out of diamond three and hopefully catch masters before the end of the season uh Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. I'm not super excited about this team. Other people liked it better than I did. I, I just, I don't feel Dorm is that great. So as is, I'm giving this team a B. I think it's utilizing a lot of stuff. Uh, keep in mind, Royalty says that he's been using the Darkhold team for offense in room one and doing really well with it. And that's why he's able to throw Echo in here. So that's something. But we're going to try moving it to superior six and uh, and just do that really killer defense. Of course, when you move your superior six in here, try out that new ISO swap system and switch them all over to striker. All right, room number two. This is the craziness here. This is the infestation team. Surprise, surprise. Uh, one out of three matchups, he's he's getting a win out of this team, which is a lot more than I thought it would do. Uh, it could be beat by uh, Gamma, which not a lot of people are using Gamma on offense right now because Gamma doesn't have a lot of things it beats, but it beats this. However, that takes a lot of turns. Another way to beat this would probably be Eternals with Fury and Shang-Chi uh, to get the speed going and rewind them a bunch and blow them up with those positive effects. However, it's working right now. So even though Big Time should be changed to a striker for the added assist value, um, I'm going to give this team an A- minus as it stands, and we're going to leave it alone other than that ISO change in there and see how it goes, because the rule is if it's working for you, don't bother changing it. Room number three is Infinity Watch. I feel like Infinity Watch doesn't use Room 3 rules very well, but after much debate, we kind of figured, eh, we'll just leave them there anyway. However, we are going to try something. Now, this as it stands is probably like an A minus B plus team for me because I don't like it in room three. Uh, but we're going to spice it up a little bit. We're going to drop Moon Dragon and add Vulture in here. Royalty has uh, two diamonds on a big G18 Vulture, which will all turn one and change turn order, slow this down, throw a monkey wrench in things, hopefully throw off his opponent a little bit. We're not expecting wins out of Infinity Watch. We are expecting efficiency loss out of Infinity Watch. And we think that adding Vulture in here will do the trick because he's not going to be using Vulture on that superior six and one. Uh, and so we think it'll work really well in here in place of Moon Dragon. So we're going to give that a shot. Now, let's move on to room number four. This is trash. We, we don't really like this. Uh, this kind of gets beat by tons of stuff. If you're not combining this with Extreme X-Men, I, I don't think you should bother. So we want to put Gamma plus Dorm in here. We're going to drop Abomination. We're going to put the Gamma team with Dormammu in here to fill it in four. 
it'll call out to the new warriors and give one more place where your opponent needs to use new warriors. Uh, so we're not expecting a win. We're just kind of forcing your opponent uh, to, to choose between rooms on where they want to use the new warrior uh, uh, attack. We are, however, going to take Rogue and move her into this room. We're going to replace Spot. Uh, Doolum is well-versed in what happens when Cyclops, Rogue, and Forge are all in the same room. So if Cyclops is here and someone other than Forge dies, then Forge gets a 100 turn meter and just goes and goes and goes and can revive team members and really screw things up. But Cyclops has to be in here. You also want Rogue in here as well for the reflexive taunt because otherwise they're just going to kill Forge first. But when Forge drops below 50%, Rogue will pick up that taunt and hopefully Forge will stay alive. So I think what we do here is we drop spot, we add Rogue and we do a little bit of a placement tweak. I think it's gonna go uh, something like Rogue, Nightcrawler, Gambit, Cyclops, Forge, keeping Forge as far away from Rogue as possible. And yeah, I think that's gonna be a much, uh, it's, it's gonna be an improvement over this. Without Rogue, the Extreme X-Men, it's not that bad. You kind of just target Forge and hit auto and it's not really a big deal. Uh, Masters of Evil can kind of uh, beat that pretty, pretty well. Uh, the other choice is of course the Superior Six. All right, and finally in room six, we're gonna uh, move this over to room one and we're putting that secret defenders defense in here from room one, except we're not using Dormammu. We already relocated him and we're gonna keep Echo for offense so that uh, royalty doesn't have to use the Darkhold team. He can throw in Echo with some other stuff in, into his opponent's room one if he wants to. But we're gonna put the secret defenders in here instead of the superior six with super scroll. The thing we're learning is that Super Scroll is great on defense, but he's better on offense because it's it's that whole rock, paper, scissors thing of do they have it on defense? Do you have it on defense and all that? And we're kind of finding that the superior choice is to have your Super Scroll on offense for whatever happens. He is a team in and of himself. And so instead we're gonna put the full five piece secret defenders in here. Even with Doctor Strange being underbuilt, we want Doctor Strange in there because he's gonna change that speed of the team and make Marvel Hard Light go so much faster and taunt so much earlier. Probably if that Doctor Strange is low level, we'll just go ahead and leave him right next to Marvel Hard Light. So he just dies off and then it'll be a gap placement on that team. And the other three will hopefully carry the day while Miss Marvel Hardlight carries the taunt. This is a super powerful defense in six, and it's a thing that you can do if you really want to. Uh, but we decided that it's, it's at this point, as royalty moves towards masters, it's getting a little wasteful to have Super Scroll on defense, and he needs to be prepared to use him into some crazy stuff. We're already going heavy on defense by having the superior six in room one, and so having all this stuff on defense is just too much. So we're starting to pull some of it back to offense, but we're also trying some crazy new stuff. What do you guys think about infestation in room two? This was a weird one for me. It was kind of strange that we never found anything better to replace it with, with royalties offense. What would you use against infestation teams? Would you underestimate it like so many of his opponents uh, are doing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you want your defense featured on Defense Up, we love going over rosters of all sizes. Whether you're into war and just getting into Crucible, or you're into Crucible but you want to get into war, we go over war defenses as well. So uh, come find us, whatever your TCP, whatever you're into, whatever you have built, bring those rosters over to us. We'd love to review those. And we're trying to do more and more of these each week because a lot of people are finding this information a lot of fun. Remember, don't just have a good game, be good to yourselves and others too, and I'll see you next time, bye.